Hello guys, uh, this is Kieran from Meepo Company. Um, and today I want to talk about battery cells. There are more and more battery cells for electric skateboarding and uh, uh, I think many people get confused uh, about all the cells because um, also it's becoming harder because the, all the brands they don't tell you uh, what are the battery cells they are using in in the battery pack? So uh, sometimes I get confused myself. So I think making a video telling you as much as I know would help some of you, especially for people who are trying to build their electric skateboard but don't know uh, more, don't know much about cells. So uh, I have uh, three opinions. Uh, number one, the Chinese brand battery cells are having more and more important roles uh, in the battery cells industry. You, you all know the uh, Xinwanda company building battery cells for all the Apple products, iPhone and Mac. They, they are like five kilometers away from Meepo, so they provide top quality cells they are Chinese brand. Um, also, um, many uh, cars and uh, mm, cool devices, I think they are also using um, good quality uh, Chinese cells. So, besides Samsung, LG, Sony, and the Modicel, uh, the Chinese brands, they are growing and have excellent battery cells for you to choose from. And uh, on this table, we have many Chinese brand cells. Okay, um, topic two is that uh, Meepo have been using uh, Samsung 40T for all the Meepo high-end products, uh, anything about five hundred dollar. We are using, we have been using Samsung 40T, but since uh, last uh, November, like um, half a year ago. We have switched from Samsung, Samsung 40T to Monicell uh, 42P42A, uh, this one. Uh, it's an upgrade, but we, we haven't made any uh, announcement because um, yeah, we, we, we are still uh, trying to collect the date and everything. So, um, Another thing I want to say here is, uh, um, is more about oh, over direction because we found Modicel is pretty cool. It, 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 uh, maybe the best battery cell we ever found so far. It's uh, all good thing about this battery cell. It's for military and uh, it's uh, for aerospace usage. And uh, it's also used on the high end. Um, high-end cars, support cars. These are the cells. They come like this. And uh, uh, we pick like 20 cells and uh, do the welding, pack them together. The money cell um, P42A is uh, recognized as the best all-around battery cells. Um, it has a 45 amps discharge continuously. And uh, it can handle insanely high discharge drum ability without making any compromise. Um, other features they have is, uh, uh, is they are untrustable. Uh, they have a wide operating temperature range, so you can use it in cold weather or in a very hot summer uh, when the road is pretty hot. And, and the, the endurance, uh, good shock and variation, that's what we need in electric skateboarding. A lot of uh, big impact, shock and variation. And so, um, body cell is just perfect for electric skateboarding when um, budget is not an issue because it costs like six dollars to get a sale. So if you get like 20, 40 sales, it, it would be cost the much. Um, okay, so this is a body body cell, and then I will um, talk back and give you a list that I think we can use for electric skateboarding. 
I'm not saying a battery cells outside of this list is not no go. Uh, the third thing I want to say to you guys is that when you are looking to uh, pick a battery and, uh, and uh, build it in your electric skateboard, um, please don't look at the uh, max discharge ability. Saying if your battery pack has a discharge capacity of 40 amps, you can assuming like you only get 20 of them. That's the only way to make sure your battery working uh, normal, don't have the issue and uh, can run for like two years and more. If you ever ask like more than 60% of the rated uh, promised discharge ability, you ask more than half of what the battery cell can provide, you may have a problem. Uh, it is just based on my uh, experience. So uh, many many people they, they don't uh, follow this rule. They, they found the battery cell and uh, they have only like one p, two p, three p, and the battery cell they don't have a high discharge. It merely meet the power needed. So that causes problem and a lot of waste. We have seen a lot of things um, happening everywhere on, on the market. So th this battery cells, um, I think it, it is a waste. So, so okay, um, let's go back to this list. Uh, on the list uh, we have uh, number one is the uh, uh, Molly cell, the Molly uh, P. P42A, this battery cell, also from this packaging, packaging. they look like this, and uh, uh, they have uh, um, they have 45 amp discharge, they are ranking the first in my opinion, and then we have uh, uh, another thing is the uh, 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 Samsung uh, 40T here, this is a Samsung 40T, this is what we used before, so they come second. This is the Molly cell, they come number one. This is a Samsung 40T. How do you say import uh, overseas brands? They, they are premium, they, they are the best of the best. Um, I will take a photo of all these cells and uh, make a, a like specification chart for you. Um, the, the conclusion I want to say is uh, number one, the Chinese brand, they have battery cells, uh, good quality, and uh, um, already used uh, in many industries and are uh, pretty good. Number two is that uh, when you are picking a battery cell, battery pack, or build a battery for your DIY, uh, try to uh, um, make a battery pack that is uh, like double what a capacity, what, what is the charge you need, saying you need a discharge of 40 amps, you build a battery cell, is pretty good for 80 amps, that, that's the only way to make sure your battery cell works stay cool and uh, have a good life cycle, hope, hope it works, thank you, bye, ride safe.